up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn how to create this kaleidoscope effect inside of Photoshop. Um, here's an original, here's the finished piece, and you'll be surprised, this is a lot easier than you think. Now right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the content. You can also jump down to the description to check out the Instagram, Twitter, Discord links, all that jazz. And if you like the song you're currently listening to, you can actually jump down to the description and sign up for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have some pretty sweet music in your videos as well. And as always, you can download the assets to this project file. You can use this exact photo to follow along in this tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. We have our blank picture that we already imported. And right here you can see my old layer with the finished piece. What we're gonna do is create a new layer. So brand new layer two, it might be layer one for you. From here you wanna select the clone stamp tool over on the left side of Photoshop right here. This little thing, clone stamp, learn how. Um, and now if you don't see this toolbar, it's really simple. Just hit window and then tools. It'll pop this whole bar open for you so you can catch up on all that stuff. Now when you hit the clone stamp, you might notice that the stamp little thing is very, very tiny. What we want to do is actually increase the size of the clone stamp. Let's do about 3000 pixels for this specific piece. As you can see, the stamp is very large. Now what we're going to do is select the background. Now hit Alt on a PC or Command on a Mac to select your point. So we're going to copy this, click layer two and paint it here. Jump back to background, copy this, click layer two, paint it here. Now this right here is all up to you. You can actually choose how everything looks. Click the background, copy that point, layer two, and I'm hitting command or alt on the keyboard the entire time to keep selecting my painting point. And that's it. Maybe you want to jump back in with the eraser tool and let's increase the size to about 2,500. Make sure that it's a feathered brush flow, 100% smoothing zero, all that stuff. And we can actually kind of like get rid of some of the, you know, faces. So her main face shines the most. Now, as you can see here, this is our finished piece and it does look eerily similar to the original, which is what we were going for. And that is it. That is how you create this cool kaleidoscope effect inside of Photoshop. I'm sure there is a more advanced way online to make a really crazy kaleidoscope effect that's a much more involved process or a plugin or something you can download. But I wanted to show you something very quick and easy just to achieve something cool really fast. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.